Hey everyone, my name is Shamir. I'm the CEO and founder of Simon Says. Simon Says is a AI transcription, captioning, translation, and editing platform for your audio and video projects. I want to do a quick demo today to get you going quickly on your work. So this will be the homepage to log in or sign up. Use these buttons on the top right here. New users get 15 minutes of free credit to try the site. Uh, when you log in, you'll see a dashboard. It'll be something similar to this. Uh, your folders are on the left-hand side. You can click this button right here to create a new folder. Um, and as you create new transcription projects, they will live in this kind of main window here. To create a new project, click this button on the right-hand side here. Now, you'll see a screen that looks like this. I will show you You can what it looks like when you drop in your audio and video files. You can drop in one or more audio and video files onto this box. You can also click it and it will allow you to choose files on your drive or you can import files up to 20 gigs in, in size uh, through Dropbox, Google Drive, and Box. Once the files upload or import um, and transcode, a pop-up will show up that says uh, the duration of the total of media, if you wanna apply credit, or if, you, if um, the duration is longer than the credit you have, uh, you can pay for it with a credit card. Um, if the pop-up doesn't show up, the button to click is transcribe. And so once the files have prepared, a button called transcribe is here. Now, to do a translation um, or any other type of conversion, you first need to transcribe. So for a translation, you first need to transcribe the audio into text in the same language. And then a translation will be a text-to-text -text translation. You can also import uh, media through an extension for your video editing application. So I'll jump back to the home page here. So if you click on products, you can see we have an extension for Adobe Premiere Pro. We have an extension for Final Cut Pro for DaVinci Resolve. Um, you can also download the Mac application and to use that as the way to import. Um, and so we have a number of ways uh, in which you can bring files, not just through the website. Now, I've already gone through the transcription project, uh, the transcription process, so I will jump to uh, what the screen looks like. Actually, it will be here. Cool, so this is a transcript that's been completed. And um, what's really novel about um, Simon Says's transcript editor is the audio and the text are always in sync. So you can jump forward in the audio, it jump, jumps forward in the text, or I can uh, click Command and click on a word, and you saw that it jumped forward here and jump forward in the video. So you can jump forward, uh, you can see how the, the color alights to being black um, when you're at that, when it's been spoken or when you're at the active point. Um, you can jump back in the text and it goes back to the beginning or back to the beginning in the video. So the text and the audio being inextricably linked is pretty magical when you're trying to you know, skim through this and you wanna make any edits or corrections. You can also add speaker labels. We have um, videos that go in depth on to uh, the transcript editor and, and understanding all the features, but just kind of as a top line, you can add speaker labels. Um, this text is editable. We have time code per word, as I mentioned, um, and to just make a correction, you can just like type over top of it. You know, you can um, highlight key sound bites. Use the bookmark icon here. You can leave notes. Type a note in here. You can invite your colleagues uh, through a link or with an email address. You can publish your project. So you can do many, many things here. Um, and so that's to get a transcript, but many people want a um, caption or subtitle. And so what you do is you would click this icon or go to export and click the visual subtitle editor. And by default, Simon says is CEA 608 and 708, 708 compliant, which means 32 characters, up to 32 characters per line two lines per subtitle card. But you can edit this if you want more or less characters. Let's go with the default. And now you'll see that paragraph transcript turn into um, uh, captions basically, or subtitles. 
and um, this is how they would look on screen. So it's called the Visual Subtitle Editor. Now, again, it's ed it's editable like the transcript editor. You can uh, type over top of these words or add new words. Uh, you can change the timing of these subtitles. Uh, click the pen icon here. You can add new subtitles. For example, if uh, there was a lot of noise happening in the background and the AI didn't capture some of the words that um, a person had said on screen, you can add a new subtitle here um, and, and go through and, and really um, make sure that your, your captions files are fine. Then you can click export again and you can download an SRT file or format uh, that you require. Uh, you can even burn in the subtitles um, onto the video itself with this option. So I've jumped back to the uh, paragraph transcript. Now imagine you want to translate uh, this, this transcript or even have translated captions. We recommend starting at the paragraph transcript uh, first because it gives the AI more context to translate to. Um, so once I'm there, then I click this icon this is the translate icon. I can also click export and um, use the translate icon here. Then um, I just choose the languages I want to translate to. So let's choose French and Japanese. And then it will tell me the total cost to do that translation. And I can pay either with uh, existing credit I have or with credit card and then it'll take a couple of minutes um, and then or even faster at times um, and you will get the translated uh, transcript here. It's very much the same as the Simon Says transcript. Uh, the, the text is editable, you can make corrections, you can create new rows. Uh, from here, once you have that translated paragraph text, you can also um, export to captions. So as you can see, the French is now done. You can see the original text here, which makes comparing really easy. Uh, when you're happy with this, you can um, go back into captions mode, which is right here. Um, and let's do that. And so you'll now see this French uh, transcript turned into French captions. Uh, so it makes it really easy to see, to preview how they will look on screen. Be, again, be able to make corrections, make any edits. Um, it's easy to do that here. Now, um, say you have that transcript, that paragraphed transcript, but you actually want to form now a rough cut, a video edit from here. So I'm going to now jump into what we call the video assemble mode. It's called, the product is Simon Says Assemble. Uh, and you can click the icon here or on your dashboard on the, on the kind of header area, there's a button called uh, video assemble mode and you will see a dashboard that looks something like this. You may have to log in and so click um, the login option here. And um, we then want to create a project. So we create a blank project and I'm going to move this video bubble. So now you've created a new assemble project. You can give the project a name here. And then you want to import that transcribe project, which you just did into Simon Says Assemble. So you click the import icon and it loads up all your transcript projects. You select the one we just did, which was called SVA Demo Project. It puts it into the bin here and then it loads it up onto, uh, onto the screen. So the left-hand side here, we can close one of these. The left-hand side here is the source monitor and the right hand side is the timeline or sequence. Now, you have uh, your transcript, which you just did in Simon Says, and now you can skim it quickly, you can search for text here, uh, you can mark the key sound bites that you want to form the spine or the foundation of your video. So let's do that here. Um, this one was already selected because if you remember, we already had done a highlight in the Simon Says transcript project. So let's do a few more. Let's highlight this, this awesome sound bite and this one right here. Great. Now we have um, a couple of sound bites here and we can just drag and drop them into place or here. And it just makes editing video super easy and seamless. And you can just play One of my most fun movie. times at SB uh, Academy formed, was uh, when no we all got together no and went on. Uh, when I learned. Invite um, teammates to this project. 
Uh, you can set the the frame rate and the resolution and the start time code for the project for the sequence. So now when everyone's aligned on the rough cut on the video edit, now you can complete the film back in your video editing application. You click ex export and then you choose your video editing application, say Adobe Premiere Pro and you hit download and you're going to get a file that when you open up into Adobe Premiere Pro, uh, it will create this sequence which is exactly what you created here and it will reconnect with the original source media seamlessly. So you can go then complete the story, bring the story out to li uh, story to life, to include B-roll shots, to add titles and credits and color and grade it um, and complete it there. And so that's really what Simon Says Assemble is about is it's text-based video editing really to let you create that rough cut or the spine of your film super quickly. So in a nutshell, that's Simon Says. Uh, happy to help. If you have any questions, use the chat icon at the bottom right.